In early January 1975, it became increasingly clear to some Americans that the government of South Vietnam could not last much longer. So a small group of us who had served in Vietnam began to get together to try to establish a number for the Vietnamese whom we felt uh, we had an obligation to try to bring out of Vietnam. We pushed very hard for the creation of a task force that would at least bring all the agencies of the U.S. government together to work on evacuation planning. And believe it or not, that only happened, that task force only happened in March. Meanwhile, a team of courageous officers at the U.S. Embassy in Saigon put in place arrangements as to maximize the number of Vietnamese to be evacuated. They were Chef Lohman, Lacey Wright, Joe McBride, Ken Moorfield, Mel Chapman, and many others. As Vietnamese evacuees were moved from Guam, Subic Bay, and Wake Island to the United States mainland, the interagency task force under the leadership of Julia Taft coordinated the establishment of tent cities in Camp Pendleton in Southern California, Fort Chaffee in Arkansas, the Eglin Air Base in Florida, and Fort Indian Town Gap in Pennsylvania. So calls went out from churches, calls went out from synagogues, calls went out from everywhere in the United States. Newspaper articles were written, can you Americans volunteer to assist us in bringing the refugees to your state, to your city. And the call went out and was heeded. And so we had in Camp Pendleton many, many Americans from all walks of life come out to the camp and write out their own affidavits of support and then help the refugee family move to the United States interior and, and be resettled. Shep Lohman started to play his Washington role as the United States government set up a refugee program in late 1975 for refugees who fled from Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, mostly to Thailand. Shep Loma not only had to lead the effort in Washington to keep the fire burning for the Indochinese refugees, at night he would stay in touch with us in Southeast Asia and uh, be sure that he was well informed and armed with the latest suggestions and recommendations from the field. He worked round the clock, literally. This trickle of Vietnamese boat people fleeing communism on flimsy vessels soon grew to become one of the largest boat exoduses in all of human history. And they would be literally pushed off. Yes. Where the country didn't feel that they wanted refugees from anywhere, that it would be too much of a burden on that country. And so they were literally towed back out to sea and pushed off. Spearheaded by Joe Gettier, Jim Schill, Jerry Broken, Nick Thorne, Lana Rosenblatt, Mel Chapman, among others, this refugee program expanded to offices in Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Hong Kong. Following the blueprint laid out by Shep Lohman and joined by new champions, they went on to set up the orderly departure program to unify refugees with their family members. The humanitarian operation program to bring to America re-education camp survivors and the processing center in Bataan, Philippines to bring home Amerasians, abandoned children of United States servicemen and Vietnamese women. We were building slowly but surely a continuing new generation of support from Congress, people like Representative Chris Smith, and most importantly, refugee advocates from the next generation. Both People SOS was on the scene by then, led by Dr. Tan. Dan Wolf was one of his early associates. And we had to build a continuing sentiment for not walking away from the problem, but for building programs such as Rover which allowed a number of Vietnamese to come in. The tireless efforts of these Americans, known as the Saigon Heroes, made possible the resettlement 
of some 1.2 million Vietnamese, Cambodian, and Laotian refugees to America, and some half million to other Western countries. Driving the notion, the idea that we were obligated to the Vietnamese and the other Indo-Chinese who had worked with us were really only a very small group of dedicated, committed, younger officers who kept relentlessly pushing forward the need not to leave just as Americans, but to take with us the people who had worked with us.